Okay, so what I figured I'd do is show you how I rivet my fabric to the wings. The reason why I go ahead and do it, well, how I do it is I, uh, I drill holes into the tubular design and then I have to find these holes. So that's step number one. So I go ahead and I grab this and you gotta be really, really, really careful with this. When I'm sitting there looking for my holes, Because if I am not careful and I drop this on the wing, it will it'll just rip right through it. It'll just yeah. yeah, it'll just sit there and just melt anything that it touches. And it'll destroy the wing. So I just gotta be really careful with that. So after I have my holes made, the next thing that I do is some glue on it. And then I let it dry. Well, since I can't let it dry and show you, I have this. This is just on another one. So the next thing that I have to do is I take this type of tape and then I stick it right on there. I have to do this again. I'm gonna find it. So what I do is I have to sit there and carefully find these holes and don't drop it. And then I'll just go ahead and just continue on. So then after the holes are all made. Then I go ahead and I take some rivets, and these are large flange rivets. And I sit there and I take the rivets, and I start putting them in. So now they're nice and reinforced. They got reinforced by the glue. They get reinforced even a little bit more by the tape that's on there. And this tape is really, really, really sticky. So. Once it's on there, it's on there pretty much permanent. So after I get the rivets in there, then I have to take one of these cool tools. How can you do it a couple times? Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't grab because I've been using it so much. Yeah, if I use it too, too much, it just kind of gets a little worn out because I use a lot of rivets on this plane. And then just be careful of these things, these pins. They're perfect to go ahead and put in, your, in my wife's tires. She's not gonna like that. So I'll nope. throw that out. So after that's done, it'll look like this. Then I take another type of tape and this is more of a fabric tape. And the reason why you do that is so that way you don't have any, you know, fabric to, you can have fabric to metal. This one's kind of sticky, but not as sticky as the other stuff. Because it's more for just trying to get it on there nice. So the next thing I gotta do Take just a little bit of glue. And then I go like that. And the reason why you do that, well, first thing I gotta do for that, you put that on there. And then what I'll do is I'll let it dry. Gonna leave that there because if it's got to dry it's got to dry so i can't make any shows of that 
Yeah. So then after that's done, so this one's actually already dry. It's nice and tight. Go ahead and then take that. So you put that down the whole thing? Yep, this will go down the whole thing. It'll, that fabric, that I, that fabric tape that I put on, it'll suck in this glue real, real nice. And you put it back over it. Yep, this goes back over it, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'll take a brand new one every time. Just so I get glue all over my hands. Sometimes I'll go ahead and I'll be smart and wear like a glove, but I didn't do that. Not that I didn't forget, it's just that I'm grabbing so much stuff. Kind of show. Okay. coats do you put on? Well, I put some on the bottom and then I go ahead and put some on the top. So when I do this, this will kind of push it through. I do this is to make sure that it doesn't move at all while it's drying while it's drying and there we have it sweet so that's all that that's what I do when I go ahead and I uh, I rip the wings <laughs>